Step number three. Neuroscience is so practical. And the first thing that is important is you need to know about the health of your brain. Nobody looks, right? Nobody cares. Well, Andy came to my clinic. He heard me speak at the University of Michigan. So I spoke there about my brain imaging work and attention deficit disorder. We've seen lots and lots, I don't know, maybe tens of thousands of kids and adults with ADD over the years. And he had a daughter that had ADD. And so he brought her to our clinic here in um, California. I have two, one in San Francisco and one in Newport Beach. And so that she wouldn't feel singled out is the identified problem. He got his brain scanned, too. And it looked terrible. So healthy on the left, Andy on the right. He's 53 years old. His brain now looks like he's 85 and bad for 85. And I'm like, Andy, what are you doing? Nothing, Dr. Amen, he said. <laughs> now, you already saw he's like 100 pounds overweight. Right? And I'm like, how much do you drink? And he said, not much. Now, I've been a psychiatrist for 30 years. <laughs> so one of the first things they teach you in school is when someone says not much, you have to ask the follow-up question. What does that mean? He said, well, not much. He said, I have a drink or two when I get home from work. And then I have a drink or two with dinner. And I usually have a nightcap. And I'm like, every night? He said, yeah, but it's not a problem. <laughs> he said, I've like never got a DUI, I've never been drunk, I've not beaten anyone, and I'm like, Andy, look at your brain. It's a serious problem. And Andy left my office that day with brain envy. He was terrified, which was good. It's okay to be anxious if it causes you to do something good. You know the don't worry, be happy people? <laughs> I always wanted to be one of them. How many of you wanted to be the don't worry, be happy people? Right? I have an older brother, Jimmy. He's 18 months older than I am. He doesn't care. He just doesn't care. I always wanted to be like him. I'm working, he's playing. I'm trying to change the world. He, like, could care less. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to be like him. Until I read a book called The Longevity Factor. It's a wonderful book if you've not read it. Michael Friedman. It's about a study where they looked at 1,548 10-year-olds in 1921. And then they followed them over the next 90 years looking at what traits went with success, health, and longevity. It was very interesting what they found. The don't worry, be happy people died the earliest from accidents and preventable illnesses. The people who were concerned, who were anxious, who were driven, who were motivated, who were successful, they lived the longest. I'm like, yes! <laughs> if you're worried about your health, good! As long as you do something about it, right? Stress, just for the sake of stress, is bad because it puts fat on your belly and we've already found what that'll do to your brain. If it'll motivate you, that's a good thing. Number one predictor of longevity, conscientiousness. If you say you're going to show up and you actually show up, that's a really good thing. So Andy left my office with brain envy. And I got a call from him 10 years later. He lived in Michigan. And I, I'd sort of communicated with him periodically. But 10 years later, he says, Dr. Amen, I want to come back and get my brain scanned again. I'm like, how come? He said, I've lost 100 pounds. 
He said, my cardiac fitness level is in the top 1% of people 20 years younger than I am. He said, between the time I first met you and now I went back to school and actually went to medical school. I'm like, no kidding. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like really impressed. And he said, I think my brain is better because I don't like hanging out with 65-year-old people because they think too slowly. <laughs> so this is Andy, before and after. I want this for you. It's a goal I have for my life, to convince you that your brain is important and that your behavior is either accelerating the aging process or it can decelerate it. Your brain can literally age backwards if you start making the right decisions.